right, so not the first time he has been the number one Bantamweight contender, but most would argue this is a totally different beast than the man who arrived in a championship setting prior. Your thoughts on the number one contender coming in here tonight? You know, when you get here, you find an opportunity to try and become the man. But if it doesn't work out, you gotta find your way back. That's exactly what this guy did. Not many believe that he would find his way back to the championship. He has. Now he understands that this will be the last chance. The last chance to become the champion. He cannot miss this opportunity. It's all or nothing for this guy right. walking into the opera. As some might say, don't be Russell Westbrook, right? Don't yeah, get yeah. to the NBA yeah, finals you gotta, one time. You gotta, you gotta get, get back. there twice. You gotta get there twice. Uh -huh. Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra. Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there, firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. the day for this Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Golden. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the winning, the bending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Sugar, Sean O'Malley! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go, early round one. We talked about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendous. Nice combination lands to the head. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Big inside kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice straight there by Sean O'Malley. Those are big strikes. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. 
That leg kick hurt. Let's go, let's go. Effective jab there by O'Malley. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities. Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's well the chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Oh, oh nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Under a minute now to go in the round. That's an educated right hand, and man, he didn't miss there. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. I mean, he's cut the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Now a kick to the bottom. Right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of a big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Back to the feet now. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed. Oh, again. Slips the shot. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, that's a good combination. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, now he's in half guard. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's gonna end very early. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Big, big shots landed by him now. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John.
we go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. So Sugar Sean O'Malley gets it done yet again tonight as we congratulate the fighter and his MMA lab teammates. He had some doubters coming in here tonight, Joe, but once again, Sean O'Malley is able to silence all his naysayers.